Today we're visiting the William Waddell House, one of over 20 structures in Ashe County, North Carolina, on the National Register of Historical Places. We believe it was built sometime in the 1830s. William Waddell made the house unique with extensive woodwork on the interior. The style of the house is basically Georgian, named for the British monarchs George I, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, who ruled in Britain for over 100 years beginning in the 1700s. Family legend has it that a small number of slaves hand-fired the bricks for this home just a few yards to the right of the house. And even though the walls are three bricks thick, it can still get pretty cold in here in the wintertime if you don't have a good fire going. This house has original scroll work designs that are unique to each room around the fireplaces and the windows. And like Kelly mentioned on Facebook a few weeks ago, walking through this house is like walking through a time capsule. Speaking of unique woodwork, the current owner found this old peg leg when she was cleaning out a closet. The family member had a bad accident or an infection or both, and they ended up burying the leg up in the cemetery behind the house. The prevailing wisdom of the time was that if you buried the leg, that you could cure the phantom pain that people often feel when they have a leg or an arm or a hand removed. <laughs> This leg is surprisingly heavy. You can hear it when I put it on the floor. The leg would go in here, and then there were straps that would come around the thigh right here. Not very comfortable, but it was better than nothing. Sometimes people believe that history only occurs in black and white. Like, for example, this picture of a young woman from the 1940s in a quilted coat. But sometimes we get lucky and find the original garment, and here it is the coat of many colors. Even though this room is on the ground floor, it was referred to by the family as the upper room. And that's because when a family member passed away, they were brought into this room and laid out. And in an old Appalachian tradition, friends and family would stay up all night with the body. Okay, this house has been without electricity longer than it's had it, but it did have running water fairly early on, thanks to a spring on the hill behind the house that came down to this spring house, and it's some of the best tasting water that you'll ever find. In fact, I think we should bottle and sell it. I can see it now. Waddell water. Anytime you have something original to a house this old, it's special. This mantle and hearth date back to when the house was built in the 1830s. And one of our Facebook friends recalled eating a heaping helping of bear meat here in the kitchen. And you know, there was always a fire going back then, back when, because they cooked three meals a day. During the course of the history of this house, there have been at least two significant fires. One, possibly an accident. The second one, from a scorned wife. While her husband was allegedly out gallivanting around the countryside with another woman, she tried to set fire to the house in this room. Thankfully, she failed. The current owner discovered the fire damage when she removed the drop ceiling and found all the charred boards. At the beginning of the Civil War, a small cadre of Union soldiers came through here and, well, let's just say they pillaged the house and its occupants. At the close of the Civil War, that same group of Union soldiers came back through, but there was a difference this time. This time, the Waddell men were back. Subsequently, there are three unmarked graves of Union soldiers somewhere on the property.
We hope you've enjoyed this trip back into our Appalachian history at the Waddell House. Please like and share this video with your family and friends, and stay tuned for more on Germaine Media. <laughs>